Hey guys, this is just I here. Welcome back to another unboxing and reviews. I haven't done one in forever, it seems like. I haven't posted, period, in forever. Honestly, I've been kind of bored and kind of getting tired out of making YouTube videos, but I plan, I want to come back soon. I wanted to do just size group reviews. Maybe, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. If you don't see one tomorrow, which you most likely won't, it'll be because I'm lazy, I'm too tired, or I just don't want to. So, yeah, there's that. But... I've come here because there was a big diecast haul. I'm going to be boxing Wave 13 and Wave 1. Uh, wave 13 2021 and Wave 1 2022. Um, there will be a few diecasts you won't be seeing. From Wave 13, you will not be seeing the Hamlin or the Kyle Busch, which I already have both of those. I unboxed those off camera. Or the Eric Jones, which is the only Wave 13 car I don't have. And the only Wave 1 car I don't have is the William Byron. But the rest of the cars you will see. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get on with it. We will be starting with Wave 13. Up here is uh, Chase Elliott's uh, number 9. This was a uh, special car. This was designed by, I think like an 8, was it an 8 year old? Who had cancer. And then he ran this at Darlington. And unfortunately crashed out after having a flat tire. But it is still... Pretty nice. Um, for some someone that drew it, that's the uh, eight year old that drew that is that's actually really really cool, honestly. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I should also mention me aware because this is uh, weight thirteen is a PDC mold, the mold that no one likes. Um, nice sticker there, Nap Auto Parts. Strength. Uh, I can't really read. I can't. That's a courage. I don't know what that middle one says. Something. I need to try and I don't know. I'm. <laughs> it's cursive. I can't read cursive. I'm sorry. I'll read a pub off camera, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, there's this die cast right here. Uh, number nine. Nap, know how. Um, it's nicely drawn. Honestly, you can tell this is drawn. Um, but it's very, very nice. It's a lot, hey, it's a lot better drawn than I would have done. So, that's a plus, I should say. I'm trying to get a better lighting, because I know there's not really good lighting right now. I apologize. Um... There's the, that, Jordan's Hospital. Yeah, very, very solid die cast. Honestly, I would give this, for a card that's been drawn by an 8-year-old, honestly, I have to give it at least a 7 out of 10, honestly. It looks really, really good. So, kudos to that 8-year-old who drew, drew it. Um, awesome. And uh, let's go to the next die cast. Up next is Alex Bowman's number 48, Ally. This was the card that... Fans got to choose for his Nashville car, and they this was the winner. And Joe, this looks like a, a very good diecast. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Um, yep, looks really nice. Uh, Alex Bowman, number 48. Pretty cool. Here is the actual diecast. Oh my gosh, it looks really awesome. I, I really like this diecast. It is really, really awesome. It would look even better without that crappy light. Well, here, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Now we got some lighting. Um, See, I think it's like... Is it my camera that's in the... Oh, that's the camera. Or my phone. <laughs> uh, that could be a huge problem. Maybe I'll just, like, do this right here. I guess, yeah, so you can get a better lighting. Um, Do it right. Ally, Microsoft, Hendrick.com. I can read this a lot better than the leather one. Well, that one was probably separated by the lighting. Let's try and read this one without that bad lighting. Or better lighting. Um, yeah, Children's Hospital, Camaro, Hooter, Strength, Lamar. Yes, okay. Alright, now back to the 48 die cast. Uh, yes, this looks really good. Would look better without that PTC mold, but they had to do it because I think they had to, like, rush shipping or something. I don't know, something like that. Um, but I would give this a 9 out of 10. Looks really, really good die cast. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next die cast. Up next is uh, Bubba Wallace's I Like Your Pepper um, car with his actual face on it. This was ran at Road America. Um... Unfortunately, I think this had an accident. I can't remember if it was in practice or qualifying or in the actual race. I think it was one of the three. I think it actually something happened to the car during the race, unfortunately. Um, but this was last year's Road America race, not this year's. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, happy 4th of July, by the way. God bless America. It's awesome. 246th anniversary of America. So, yeah. America. Um, and some of these cars will be patriotic. Uh, I think, I mean, there's a few cars. I think up next are the, I think the, Next three cars away 13, actually, I think are patriotic, so there's that. Um, anyway, so we got Bubba's car. Looks weird, but it's cool. Let's go and unbox it. And you know what? I think this fits Bubba's personality, because this, this is a very Bubba thing to do. To just do this, 
jerking to Dr. Pepper, being like, yeah. <laughs> All right, Bubba. Uh, 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 no hate to Bubba. I, I like Bubba. Um, and I don't care what you guys say. Uh, Dr. Pepper, my one. Um, Root Insurance, Columbia, McDonald's. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid die cast. Um, uh, I'm gonna give this a. You know what? I'll give it a seven on ten. Not bad, but there's that as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and unbox the next one. Up next is Kyle Larson's number five. This is like a patriotic car. Let's go ahead and unbox this one. Okay, so I just remember that these are patriotic, or, but these are 911 cars, I think. These next three cars are patriotic cars as it's beginning to rain outside. So if you hear that noise, that's what it is. It's beginning to rain outside. So there's that. But these cars are run 911. Still patriotic, though, obviously. Um. Kyle Larson, Hedger.com. We will never forget. Yes, 9-11. Amen. We will never forget that. Um, Hedger.com. Hedger.com. We will never forget. Yes, amen. Um, yeah. Pretty solid. Honestly. I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's not the best thing, but it is still pretty good. Patriotic, so. Yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and unbox the next one. Up next is Christopher Bell's number uh, 20. His, uh, his 9-11 car. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Alrighty, got this one on the box. Seabell DeWalt with an American flag on it. Here's the actual die cast. Um, solid die cast. All, all these die casts are pretty solid. Most of them are. If the die cast is like really, really bad, then there's that. I forgot I need to get the better lighting. Uh, Toyota, Camry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a 7, 7 out of 10. Not bad. Uh, let's move on to the final Wave 13 die cast from this wave. Or at least the final Wave 13 card that I have. I know I still need the Air Jones. But it is Austin Dilds number 3. Check the road. Let's go on unboxes. Alrighty. So we have uh, Austin Dillon, Military Appreciation Discount number 3. Solid. Here is the actual doy cast. Not bad. Not bad. Check the road. Off road. Yes. I like this. I'll give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Honestly. Solid. All of them are solid, but that's if Wave 13. Let's move on to Wave 1 now. All right, so the first card of Wave 1, we have Austin Sindrix, number 22. This is his Indy Road Course win from the Xfinity Series. Let's go and unbox this. Nice PPG card, but there's the uh, card, Austin Sindrix. I believe all these, by the way, are race win die casts, uh, by the way. I think they all are. Yeah, they are. Um, so we got Penzoy, 150. Um, this shows his stats. I'm not going to read them all. Take a look at him, yeah. Um, so, uh, here is the actual diecast. I love the PPG diecast. This diecast is pretty solid, pretty good. I love it. PPG, Menards, all the sponsors is right there. Same thing on the other side. Got some scratches right there. Some, like, tire marks or something. Skid marks, whatever <laughs> you like to call them. But, this gets a 9 out of 10. I love the PPG diecast. Or maybe an 8 out of 10. Eh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Why not? Let's go ahead and move on to the next diecast. Up next is Kyle Larson's number five Las Vegas win from the Cup Series. This was the spring race that he won. Let's go in on the box this one. Mm, boom, boom, boom. All right. There is a uh, Kyle Larson Pennzoil 400 winner. There's the stats. Yeah, right. Um. Okay, number five, Hunter.coms. See some confetti on it. I think Lionel did something. Was like, would you like your diecast better with confetti or without confetti? With confetti, it would be actually better. Um, unless it's like an original die cast that hasn't been in the wave. But if it's like a die like this die cast, which we've had in the wave before, then do it. Yeah, but if it's like a die cast that we haven't had in the wave, like AG Omen Air's car, which I will be unboxing soon, that's fine without the confetti. Because don't ruin the car in case some people like me haven't had it yet. Um, anyway, so is that. Hendra.com's solid, solid car. Uh, but uh, I like this Hendra.com's car. I'll give it a 7 out of 10, though. Not bad, not bad. Let's move on to the next die cast. I mentioned A.J. Allmendinger. Here it is. A.J. Allmendinger's uh, Indy Road Course win from the Cup Series. And a fantastic finish. That was incredible. Win for him. Uh, let's go on the boxes. There's Red T, as always. Uh, for the red, for all the race win die casts, they give us cards so we can look at the stats and stuff. Allmendinger, Verizon 200, the Brickyard winner. There are those. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Here's the actual die cast. My first AJ Allmendinger number 16 die cast. I have like a few die cast, two die casts of Allmendinger from the 47. 
I have a Kroger car and a Bush Beans car. Um, but here is Hyper Ice. Awesome die casts. Uh, yes, sir. Sharing, sharing this ride in the Cup Series with uh, Kazgar or not Kazgarala, <laughs> Noah Gregson and uh, Daniel Hammer. Uh, last year, Kazgarala ran this in the 500. But it's all die cast. Gonna give this an eight out of ten. Let's go ahead and move on. Up next is Chase Elliott's uh, Coda win. So let's go in on boxes. Alrighty. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Guy Hast, um, Echo Park, Texas Grand Prix winner. All of that. Stats right there. Die Cast, right here. Lamar Window Film. It's when he said the wrong sponsor, darn it. He said, thanks to the universe. <laughs> that was a little bit hilarious, but I do feel bad for Lamar. Um, but, it's, it's honestly, this, this, it, it's not a good die cast. I mean, the, the, the like, I, at first I saw it and it was a horrible die cast, but then I, it's kind of grew on me. So, you know, I'll give, I'll give it a 7 out of 10, honestly. Not bad. Let's move on to the next die cast. Up next is Kyle Busch's number 54, uh, Skittle Gummies car from Road American, or not Road American, Coda, in the Xfinity series. is going on boxes. Now, I know you can get this in the 5 car Kyle Busch set, because last year he ran 5 races in the Xfinity series, I believe won all 5 of them. Uh, so you can get that set at Lionel Racing, I believe they released it. Um, Kyle Busch, Pit Boss, 250 winner. Uh, stats right there. Here is the die cast. First up, 54 Kyle Busch car. I have, I have a Ty Gibbs car from Wave 11. Uh, Skittles Gummies. All that right there. Solid die cast. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Looks free. Or, no, 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 no. Let's not get too testy here. <laughs> 7 out of 10. I don't know. I just say things and say random numbers, I guess. But let's move on to the next die cast. Up next is Ben Rhodes, number 99 Daytona truck win. First Ben Rudd's diecast we have, and the last of the Thor Sport guys, because I have Johnny Sauter, Grandfinger, Matt Crafton, and now I have Ben Rhodes. So let's go and get him with it. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, ben Rhodes, Nextra, Nextra Energy 250 winner. Um, those. <laughs> those. Uh, diecast zoom in. Um, solid truck. Bomb, 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 bombery dar. <laughs> I definitely butchered that name. It's all die cast. I'll, I'll still give it like an 8 out of 10. Something like that. Two more die casts coming up. Let's go ahead. Go on to the next one. Up next is Ryan Blaney's number 12. Atlanta win in the Cup Series. Let's go on and get him with this one. Alrighty. Uh, Coke Zero Sugar. Oh, this is his Daytona win. All this time, I thought this was his Atlanta win, but it's his Daytona win. Huh, interesting. I thought that was his... I thought that was his Atlanta win. Okay, my apologies. My apologies. It's his Daytona July win. Um, body armor. Yes, he won at the St. Pete's game, Atlanta, and Daytona. So that's why I thought it was Atlanta. My apologies. It's Daytona win. I'll give it... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. So let's move on to the final diecast. Final one that we have to unbox. Kyle Busch is number 51. Uh, Atlanta truck wins. Go ahead and move on and unbox this one. Here we go. Right here. That was a boring race when he won this. It was horrible. Uh, nothing happened in the race. F8 auctions two and a winner. Uh, stats right there, and the diecast looks almost like the one that we got a few years ago. Um, the 51 truck, Roddy Energy on the back, and Murphy USA Toyota, Beechcraft. I know I butchered that, but anyway, that is it for the boxing. All right, guys, that's it for this Wave 13, Wave One unboxing, uh, 14 diecast one box in this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe if you want to. I know that's cloud and I know that's support that. So do it if you want to. Just a suggestion. I'll see you guys in the next video with whatever I decide to post next. See you guys. Bye.